Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten with the next in our series of videos on Pygame and today we are going to make our games come alive by adding audio. Nothing quite makes a difference to your computer game like having fantastic sound effects and background music. It really adds another dimension to your game. So the first thing you're going to need to do is source your audio and if you can make it yourself then that's fantastic. But if you're not musically inclined like me, I used freesound.org to find my uh, sound effects. And I used soundcloud.com to find my background music. Please make sure that whatever you are using has been given copyright permission to use. Uh, I searched for Creative Commons licenses on Freesound. And there is a whole range of, uh, as you can see, there's, you know, uh, 1800 game uh, sound effects that came up when I searched for arcade games so there's plenty here to use and there's uh, uh, plenty of other websites as well that you can also search for so uh, use things that the author has given permission for once you have downloaded your audio files all right so I here's my project folder here I've created a subfolder called audio and I've put all my sound files into this folder now the one criterion you do need to be aware of is that the background music must be an mp3 file and any little sound effects you want for things like coins or injury or jumps they must be WAV they must be WAV files so if what you download is a different format don't just rename the extension that it doesn't work that way uh, download a tool uh, such as audacity or find a website that does audio format conversion for you and get that format converted uh, so that you can use it in your game now on the code side of things to get these to work it is really quite simple which is fantastic it's nice to have something that works uh, quite uh, easy out of the, the bat so let's do that let's get the background music running first and the command to do this is just pygame.mixer.music.load uh, and you put your file name reference in there so I'm going to on my file list here let's go up to where my audio folder is here's my background music I'm going to right click on it and say copy relative path come into my function and paste and then uh, I'm just going to change the slash so that um, the the backslash causes issues <laughs> let's, let's just leave it at that if you want to if you're on a Windows machine and you are using the backslash then you need two backslashes okay but Python seems to actually work let, letting you use the wrong slash so I'm going to keep using that for now. Uh, and then pygame.mixer.music.play. And if I put minus one inside the function call, that will make it keep looping that music. So now if I pl hit play on my game, uh, and it helps if I quit the previous instance. Okay, you can hear that that audio has started up in the background. All right. Fantastic. So I'm just going to comment that out so that I can do the sound effects without the music getting in the way. Uh, to load our sound effects, you need to create an object for each individual one. And you do that prior to the loop so that it's not constantly reloading the WAV file during the loop. That'll slow down your game. So coin dot, uh, sorry, coin underscore SFX for coin sound effect. Uh, is what I'm going to call my first object and that's going to be pygame.mixer.sound with a capital S and again here you just put in a reference to the sound file so uh, my coin sound effect is this one here copy the relative path put it inside some quotes and paste it in and change the slash All right and then to get that coin sound effect to work uh, let's scroll down to where I collect the coins that is happening down here right here if I'm touching 408 that was my gold coin and here I'm swapping the tile so when I do that I want to get my object and hit, you know, hit the dot and you can see there the play command All right, give that the parentheses and so now if I run this uh, when I touch a coin I will get that coin collecting sound effect that we all know and love. All right, let's get my other sounds up and 
working. So uh, here's some that I prepared earlier rather than you watching me just type them all out. Okay, and so I've got a jump sound effect, I've got a teleport sound effect, an injury and an intro. I want the intro to happen straight away, so I'm just going to put in here intro underscore SFX play. Test that that one works. Yay, there's my intro sound. Uh, and now I will add the others. So my jump sound effect, I'm going to, where my jump gets triggered, I need to remember where that happens. So that is on the W key when I press W I'm indicating I want to jump uh, but first this is when I'm on the ladder this is when I'm on ground so that's when I actually jump so jump sound effect dot play will go there uh, my injury sound effect happens when I'm touching uh, the lava or really anything that's got a negative health value so I can just create a new if statement in here if whatever tile I am touching has a health attribute that is less than zero then I am going to play my injury sound effect. Uh, I've done the coin one so the only other one left to do is my teleportation and that is happening here if special in touching touching equals teleport uh, so now teleport.sfx.play and now uncomment my uh, background music. So let's see what this looks like all brought together. Hit play on my final game. There's my intro, there's my music kicking in. There's my coin collecting sound effect. There's my jump sound effect. I've collected my key. Let's go open the door. Okay, there, there's my injury sound effect. I open the doors and let's go up to the portals. And there's my portal sound effect. All right, have fun bringing your games alive with music and sound effects. They make a massive difference. Quick shout out to Masato, Hayden, Jade and Kapo who uh, were nice and quiet the first time I filmed and Isaac, Jackie and Arden who have been excellent for my second take. Thank you everyone, this is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.